Simon, start your engine! Now we're hearing from NASCAR that Kenseth will be penalized and he'll get a 30 mile an hour pass through down pit road uh, because he changed lanes on the start before, before reaching the start finish line. It's not a bad penalty right now early in the race. You can't overcome it. Jamie McMurray has been caught. Casey Kane and Ryan Newman. Here goes Kane to the inside and Newman gives him plenty of room. Or excuse me, McMurray gives him plenty of room. Newman takes advantage, and so does Hamlin. Yeah, Kane brought two friends with him, kicks McMurray in the one, all the way back to fourth. Casey Kane takes the lead of this race. Dick, problem on the one? Not a really problem, Mike, but the car has gotten looser as this run has gone along. He'd had good drive off earlier, and then reported later that the car just played got loose in the back. And now Newman moves to the inside for the lead. Newman's bad fast, but the guy right behind him, that 11 car, hello. Mr. Martinsville is in your rearview mirror there, Mr. Newman. And for the lead, here comes Hamlin. That 11 car, oh my, that thing is on a rail. Remember they pit all the way around, turns one and two here. McMurray has the last and arguably the best pit stall. He gets to choose that because he was the fastest qualifier, but you see he's not going to nearly be the first one out. Two, four, six off for McMurray with Jimmy Johnson leading the way. The real winner was that 48 car of Jimmy Johnson. Great pit stop. Got out good. Here's how close they were at the line. Each driver watching his tack. And at the exit, Johnson is the leader, so he gets lane choice on the restart. Saunders celebratory burnout on the way to victory lane. Kyle was disappointed, but explain, you'll see a lot of that here today. Kyle's got a little bit better car, and he just makes a pass right there. I think Jimmy may have seen that uh, he was a little quicker, gave him some room on the inside. Nice move. Kyle Busch telling his team, I think the track is starting to rubber up on that run. I start a little tight and I go loose, but I like it. I don't think we really need to do much at all, Steve. Jimmy Johnson said the same thing, Chris. He said from the center off, the track is starting to rubber up. Short, quick chassis adjustment rather than four tire match. With that 48 team, I'm watching right here in front of us. They are killing it in the pits. Even though they don't have a premium pit spot, they've got an opening behind them and in front of them because of lap down car. Here comes Hamlin once again. Takes Jimmy Johnson for the lead. Hamlin has led twice for 21 laps. Johnson twice for 38. Turn one, Marcus Ambrose hard in the wall. Ambrose scoots away. That car a lot shorter in the back than it was a lap ago. Marcos has been stuck on the outside here. I think he gets a little frustrated and tries to come down in front of the 66 car there. And man, now <laughs> he was he was trying to his stop brakes, it. <laughs> his brakes are working good. <laughs> Michael McDowell in that 66 just kept pushing. To, there was no more room for Ambrose to go. Here comes Kyle. He's trying that outside again. It's so, so tempting to get out there. He said those guys are stopping it from me. I'll go right around them. And Boyer wants the lead on the inside. He'll get it. First time one of Richard Childress's cars has led today. Stewart almost lost it up in turn number four. Gosh, Daryl, he got way up in the high stuff and got everything but the fence. Yeah, he's got a problem. And certainly he has build up on his tires right here. Take a lap to get that knocked off. But uh, Spoke not having a very good day. He doesn't love this. Here comes Jeff Gordon. Martinsville's all-time active winningest driver. Moves himself up to second place. In the wall, hard goes Casey Kane and Martin Truex. Wow, that was huge. Look at that car. And you think we're not going fast here. Martin's all right. Look at that thing. What a hit. And Casey Kane is moving around in his car. 
Here, I get a feeling something happened to Martin Trex Jr. in that 56 as hard as he was driving it off in that corner. Sure does. I yeah, mean, I mean, he wasn't even able to slow it down, it didn't look like. I bet, the, well, it. Yeah, he never even slowed it down. We're in it, guys. We're in it. Got into Hamlin just a bit, and that shoved Jimmy Johnson way up the racetrack. It was kind of coincidence contact, but uh, Johnson became the victim. Ryan Newman, with that red spoiler on the bottom, tips the 11, gets up into the 48, up into the marbles. Here comes Big Daddy, Jeff Gordon to the lead. The corner, clear, you're clear. Tony Stewart's tough day continues. He'll get a pass-through penalty because he changed lanes before the start-finish line. Matt, Dick, Dale Earnhardt Jr. got hung on the outside, lost four spots, now back to nine. Looking impressive on those two tires. He says after about 40 laps, his car has little fall-off compared to the competition. They just need long green flag runs from here to the finish. David Ray here as Gordon puts the bumper to Kyle Busch. Bump on exit. Gordon's there. I think he'll make the pass here. Yeah, he'll win, this, he'll win this battle getting that into turn three. Just enough position to get the, get that bottom line. Even door, corner, corner, clear. All clear. Denny Hamlin was third, but unable to gain advantage. The 39 car just playing. Got, got a left rear. Got a left rear tire down. Come on. Tough break for the outside pole sitter. Good Haas is and having a tough day, Larry. And they had engine trouble. I hope he's running. He was going down. This has been flat for about. He came off turn two with it flat. Went all the way down the back before he gets down here. Round goes. Kyle Busch went past Jeff Gordon to retake the lead. From Jeff Sanders. He's just running his left side where you were. Little run. Coming corner door. Kevin Harvick in the 29 car drives around the outside of Denny Hamlin in the 11 car, and I think he's going to make it work, and he'll take the pass. Can't believe we talked about. I, I, how many times did I poke you and say, "What's wrong with Hard today?" And here he is. Nothing. Uh, that is the first outside pass we've seen today uh, of a quality pass nature. <laughs> Matt Kenseth. Up into the top 10, and that has got to be a relief after the way they started the day. Now, you talk about rare mistakes. Here's one. Jimmy Johnson gets a speeding ticket too fast entering his pit. And here's going to be the problem. With 30 laps to go, with 37 cars on the racetrack, remember the penalty tail end of the longest line. It's already at the tail end of what was the longest line. So here we go green. To settle it, short track shootout style, 30 laps to go. Kyle Busch trying to hold off <laughs> Dale Earnhardt Jr. And guess who? You know what he's doing, Daryl? He's starting to diamond it just a little bit like Jeff Gordon, getting it up a little bit. That lets him get that good run. Looks like he may get there this time. He's got a nose. He's got a look. He's got a look. He's Can Busch give him room? Yes. No. They oh, touch. Nice. And Here comes Jr. Junior. gets the lead. Oh, that's not going to be. Clear, clear, clear. Not a happy camper. And the crowd goes wild. I was going to say, Kyle Busch may not be a happy camper. About 90,000 people are right now here at Martinsville. Junior better drive it like he stole it right now. <laughs> out the windshield, right, out the back glass. Old Harv is taking a hard look. He's got a nose. He's got a run. He's going to stick it in there. And he's got the room. Kyle had to let him go, man. He couldn't afford to cut out. Harvick could take the position going down into turn three. And Dale Jr. takes off. Outside, yeah, but I'd be. Corner. Still hanging on the outside. I'd be worried about that 29 if I was Dale Jr. because he's coming. Harvick is there. He gets Whoa. underneath and Jr. holds him off. No, I don't think so. He's going to well, take him right the here. Position. There it is. He's got him. Outside, outside, outside. Jr. got outside, loose down there in three corner, and four. Clear, Open the door. Off. He's not going to give up. Here he comes back. Junior crosses under. He's got the inside. Eases into the corner. Gives, gives Harvick a bump. Oh, Junebug. But Harvick sticks to the bottom and holds Junior a car length back. 
three laps to go. He's on Kyle Busch underneath Dale Jr. Did Jr. give Harvick a, or, uh, did Jr. give the uh, 18 car a little tap there earlier? And here comes Kevin Harvick. The closer clinches the deal two weeks in a row. Jr. got him. And Jr. holds off Kyle Busch. You guys made, amazed me. Good job. That was a lot of fun. At the end.